Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video I'd like to talk about the Kingdom Protista. The Kingdom Protista is one of the five major kingdoms. This kingdom is kinda the junk drawer kingdom because many of the organisms in this kingdom just don't fit anywhere else. Most are aquatic but not all of them. Some are unicellular but many are also multicellular. They are all eukaryotic, but some can reproduce sexually and others asexually. Some are heterotrophs, but others are autotrophs. Some are decomposers, and others are parasites. There are several major groups of protists. First, some are classified as animal-like. These heterotrophs can be parasites, predators, and some are classified by how they move. Sarcodines move by using a pseudopod. A common example is an amoeba. A mastioporans move by using a flagellum. Gerardia is an example of this. Ciliates move with hair-like structures. Take a look at this video of the amoeba and a paramecium, which is a ciliate, moving. practice photosynthesis, but they don't have roots or leaves. One common example is algae. Some algae is unicellular, but kelp is an algae and is very large. Other plant-like protists include euglenoids, which move with a flagella, plankton, and diatoms, which look like glass. And finally, some protists are fungus-like. These protists are decomposers. Common examples are slime molds and water molds. So there you have a quick overview of Kingdom Protista. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math science video every day. Please subscribe and share.